Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss a very interesting problem called uh, maximum tastiness of a candy basket. So the problem says that we will be given with some number of candies and their prices and we will be also given with an integer k. And what we have to do is we have to pick some number of candies and we have to pick k number of candies and put uh, them into a basket. And we have to find out the maximum tastiness of a basket. And what is the tastiness of a basket? It is equals to the minimum difference of any two uh, candies or we can say the difference of their prices. So let's take an example and try to understand the problem statement. So let's say we are given with this particular example. So the uh, we are given with how many candies? We are given with three and three, six candies and k is equals to three. So what we have to do is we have to pick three candies from these uh, you know, six candies and we have to put them in a basket such that the tastiness of that basket is maximum. And tastiness of a basket is the difference between, minimum difference between any two candies, right? So let's pick some number of uh, candies. Let's say we pick this uh, candy one, then we pick, let's say this eight, and then we pick this uh, last candy, which is 21, right? So if we just talk about this particular basket, which is containing three number of candies, uh, what is the tastiness? Tastiness is the minimum difference between any two candies. So the difference between these two, uh, these two candies is seven, and the difference between these two candies is 21 minus eight. Uh, is 13 right all right so what is the minimum difference the minimum difference is 7 so we can say that tastiness of this particular basket is 7 okay now let's pick uh, some other uh, elements so let's say we pick uh, uh, 1 then we pick uh, let's say 13 and then we pick let's say 21 right? now what is the tastiness of this particular basket if we talk about these two elements what is the difference the difference is uh, 12 and what is the difference between these two elements the difference will be uh, 7 8 right and what is the minimum out of these two? 8 is minimum, right? So the tastiness of this particular basket will be 8, right? And similarly, we can have uh, other ways or like other uh, baskets which can have three different uh, candies. And out of those, we are interested in the one which is having the maximum tastiness. And out of these two, can we say that this particular basket is having the maximum tastiness? And the answer for this problem, this test case is also 8. Like we can have other combinations also which can give us uh, 8 as a maximum tastiness. For example, if we took... 5 13 and 21 this will also give us the tastiness as 8 right and similarly you can have other uh, uh, buckets okay all right now if problem statement is clear then we can try to think of a solution for this problem all right so according to the problem uh, we have to pick k number of elements from uh, this array right so can we say that we will be in this uh, case we will be interested in all the subsets of size 3 can we say that? Because we have to pick three uh, candies. So we can say that we will be interested in all the subsets of size three, right? And out of all those subsets, we have to find out which is having the maximum uh, tastiness, right? So we can think in terms of recursion and then later we can try to see if that can be optimized to using DP or not, right? So this could be a way to think about this problem. But there is very, uh, there is one very interesting observation in this problem. So if we just look at uh, this problem, then can we say that our answer is actually dependent on the minimum difference of any two uh, candies that we will put in the basket, right? So can we say that if we will increase the minimum difference that we are going to consider, then the number of candies that we can pick from here will actually decrease. How that will decrease? So if it will increase, if we will increase the difference, then the number of elements, number of candies or uh, elements that we can pick from this array will decrease. Let's take an example, let's take an example. So let us consider this particular graph and let's try to build this particular graph, okay. So here uh, difference will increase if we'll go to the right side in x-axis and uh, like number of elements that we can consider from array will increase if we'll move up upwards in the y-axis, okay. So for difference of zero, if we want minimum difference to be zero, then can we say that we will be able to consider all the elements even if the prices are uh, repeated, if we have same prices for two different candies. So can we say that for difference zero, we will be able to pick all the n elements, right? We can say that. All right. Now if we will increase the difference of uh, one, like we would want the minimum difference to be one. In that case, can we say that we will not be able to consider uh, the elements or the candies having the same price. For example, let's say if we have uh, uh, candies with price 1, 2, 2, 3. So for difference 0, we can consider all 4, but if we want a minimum difference to be 1, then in that case, we'll have to leave one of these two candies, right? So we can say that uh, the number of elements or number of candies that we can pick from the array will either remain same or it will decrease 
for if we increase the difference so let's say in this array we do not have any uh, duplicate elements in that case we will still have n number of uh, elements or n number of uh, candies that we can pick from the array all right now if you will increase the difference further then again either this diff uh, either the number of elements that we can pick from the uh, array will remain same or it will decrease but it will never increase all right so we can say that the graph would look something like this okay so it will either remain same or it will decrease but it will never increase so we can say it is a monotonic graph or we can say it is non increasing it is either remaining constant or it is decreasing but it is not increasing all right so this graph and this relation suggest that uh, or we can simply say that based on this uh, relation we can say that the, the search space will be monotonic why search space is monotonic because if you are increasing the difference then this result is uh, decreasing so let's take uh, let's say for a uh, random difference of x let's say we are considering difference of x so for that let's say we got uh, this is the x right so let's say for this particular uh, difference we got y number of elements that we can pick from the uh, array okay now for some difference x dash which is greater than x we will get some number of elements let's say y dash okay so can we say that for a difference of x if we are getting y number of elements that we can pick from the array then for a difference of x dash where x dash is greater than x uh, so for x dash we got a y dash number of elements so we can say can we say that uh, for sure this y dash will be smaller than or equals to y so we can say that if the difference will be increased then the number of elements will be decreased for sure or either will they will remain same or they will decrease okay so uh, based on this what we can uh, say is that for a random value of x if you will get y number of elements that we can pick from the array so here we can have three cases if either this y is uh, greater than k uh, greater than or equals to we can consider just two cases or the second possibility is that this y is smaller than k right so if y is smaller than k uh, that means we can we can't have we can't pick k number of candies from this array but we have to pick k number of candies that means we need to increase the number of elements and if we want to increase the number of elements then what we will have to do we will have to reduce the difference because if you will reduce x or the difference that we are considering minimum difference that we are considering then the number of elements will increase okay so in this case what we have to do is we have to move to the left side so we have to move to the left side okay now if this is the case if the number of elements uh, are greater than or equals to k that means we will for sure be able to pick k number of elements from the array now in this case what we would want we would want to maximize the difference if this case is possible then we have to find out the last or we can say the maximum difference for which this condition is true okay so what we can do is we can store the value of x somewhere that this was a possible answer right uh, like for this particular difference this condition was true so we can store it somewhere and then what we can do is we can try to go in the right and check if we have more difference or a greater difference for which this value this uh, condition is true okay so in this case we have to first store the value of x and then we have to move to the right side okay so we can use binary search and see uh, like we draw like we use this graph to see uh, all these things but uh, just using these expressions also we can uh, say that uh, there will be monotonicity in the search space and we can apply binary search okay so we have taken this just for explanation part but uh, like in question if we have any relation like this then search space will uh, be monotonic for sure so now the only challenge is to find out how many number of elements we will be able to pick from this array for a given value of difference for a given value of difference okay so let's consider this array and let's say we want a minimum difference of let's say 7 if we want a minimum uh, difference of 7 then if we just pick this one if we pick one then we can't pick two we can't pick uh, five we but we can pick eight right and we can also pick uh, with one we can also pick 13 all right uh, we can also pick uh, 21 but uh, that will not make sense because in that case we will be only able to pick two elements uh, but if we pick one, 8 with 1 then we have a chance of picking up a third element so we can pick 21 here and we can pick 21 here okay now uh, what do you guys think that uh, for with 1 if we pick 8 or 13 which is having higher probability of getting a third element 
So can we say that uh, there are higher chances uh, of getting a third element if we pick 8 because 8 is smaller. So if we pick 8 then we would uh, want elements smaller than equals to 8 plus oh sorry greater than equals to 8 plus 7 which is equals to 15. So if we have any element greater than equals to 15 then we will for sure be able to pick third element right. Now if we talk about 13 then if we are picking up 13 then we would at least have uh, we if we have picked 13 then uh, next element should at least have a value of 7 plus 13 which is 20 all right. So if we have elements uh, with value 20 then for sure they will be also greater than 15. So picking up 8 increases the number of uh, increase the probability or we can say the chances of having an element which can be picked along with 8 right. So what we can do is we can uh, start from uh, the least value and we can then try to pick the first value which comes uh, which we can pick. Uh, for example if we wanted a difference of 7 then if we have picked 1 then the next value that we uh, we can have is 8. If we have 8 anywhere because 1 plus 7 this is the minimum value that we want if we are picking up 1 right. So as soon as we get an element which is greater than equals to 8 then we can pick that element. So with 1 we can pick this particular 8. Now if we have picked this 8 then we will be interested in the first element which is having at least this much value which is equals to 15. So after 8 we have one element or the first element which is having greater than uh, value greater than equals to 15 will pick that right. So in this way we can increase the uh, we can find out the maximum number of elements candies or elements that we can pick for a given difference all right okay. So now let's uh, try to code this approach okay. So now uh, if you talk about implementation then first we'll have to define the uh, search space what is our search space so what is the minimum difference that we can have so minimum difference can be zero right and what can be the maximum difference so to find out maximum difference uh, we would be interested in the maximum price of a candy and the minimum price of a candy because that can be the maximum uh, difference that we can have so for that what we can do is we can sort this pr uh, price array so let's assume that we have sorted this array then the maximum difference will be equals to this uh, let's say this let's just call it p so, so p of uh, n minus 1 minus of p 0. This is the maximum element or price and this is the minimum price. So their difference will be the maximum difference that we can have of uh, between two arrays, between two uh, elements. All right. Okay. Uh, let's uh, have one more variable in which we will store our answer and let's uh, have one more variable to store mid. Okay. So we have these elements. Okay. All right. Now we will run our... Uh, like we will keep on iterating until L is smaller than equals to H. Okay. Then we'll find out mid and mid will be L plus H minus L divided by 2. Okay. Uh, all right. Now what we have to do is we have to check that for this particular difference, how many number of elements we can uh, pick from the array. So let's say we have a function which can give us the number of elements that we can have. So let's call it get count. So this get count will give us the number of elements that we can pick uh, from this array for this particular uh, difference so pass this and okay these two things okay. all right and let's say we store it in a variable called y now we have these two conditions so if uh, this y is greater than equals to k the number of elements that uh, we can pick from this array is greater than equals to the number of elements that we require in that case we will store this particular value we will store this particular value and then we will move to the right and how we move to the right we increase low low is equals to mid plus one okay so, all right so we have moved to the right so in the other case in the else part what we can do is we can simply move to the left and how we move to the left we increase the or we decrease the high wala part so let's say high is equals to mid minus one okay cool so this will be the uh, uh, conditions and at the end we can simply return answer and how this uh, this variable will uh, store the answer see uh, whenever this condition will be true then we can say for sure that particular difference will be a valid answer uh, so let's say for uh, uh, let's say for a random value 6 we this condition was true that means 6 is a potential answer for this this particular difference we are getting number of elements greater than equals to k so in that case we will store 6 in our answer and then we'll move to the right right side Right. So let's say we have a number line here. We had six. So six was a uh, possible answer. This was R. This is L. You know? Okay. Now what uh, what we did? We stored this particular value and then we moved to the seven. 
Now in this particular range, if this condition will be true again, like one, uh, if you will have any difference for which this condition will be true, then this answer variable will again get updated. It will again get updated. All right. So let's say for uh, let's say for uh, eight again, this condition was true. So if this condition was true, then what we will do? We will override this particular value, and now answer will store eight. So this uh, answer will keep on uh, updating if this condition is true. Right. Okay, so at the end, uh, we, this answer variable will have the uh, maximum value or we can say the last value for which this condition was true and we will return that. So now you guys can try to code this particular uh, function and if you face any difficulty then you can comment down below and we will be more than happy to uh, answer your queries and uh, I think that's it. Okay, let's talk about time and space complexity also. So like for now, we have not implemented this, but we can say that it will, it can be implemented in order of n. Okay. So we will do order of n work. How many times, how many iterations we can have in this? So what is our search space? Our search space is this particular difference and zero. So we can say uh, that uh, the difference of, uh, or we can say that our range is from zero till the max element minus min element. This is our range, right? And in binary search, our range gets divided by two or every with every iteration. So we can say that uh, the number of iterations this while loop will have will be equals to uh, max minus min and log of this thing, log base two, because this thing will get divided by two every with every iteration. Okay. So this these many operations or these many iterations this while loop will do. And in every iteration we are doing order of n work. So we can say n into this will be the time complexity. And what about space complexity? Uh, so we are not storing anything. So we can say that uh, the space complexity will be order of one. It will be constant, constant space. Okay. Cool. So I think that's it for this video and I'll meet you in the next one.